Nine of Wands. And then Eight of Wands is here. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This nine of wands, this could be somebody that's, um, you know, feeling guilty or nervous about something. This could be somebody nervous because something is moving forward. You could be moving forward. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, with this Nine of Wands, you could have went through a lot. But you still were able to move forward. And then the Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, whatever you went through, it's like you came out on top. And you were able to move forward. Yeah, whatever you went through, it helped you move forward. And it's like you could be starting over. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, Ace of Wands. I'm so done. Because I was thinking that. You know, the Eight of Wands is, you know, stuck in the ground behind this person on the Nine of Wands card. And they're holding a wand. So it's like you're having a new beginning. You took those Eight Wands whatever you went through over and over again. You could have been in a never-ending cycle. You could have dealt with a lot and you were able to take that and move forward. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Ace of Wands is like you're starting a new beginning and you could be, you know, building your Ten of Pentacles, creating a legacy for yourself. Page of Wands is here. And then Three of Cups is here. So somebody could want to communicate with you. Page of Wands, Three of Cups. This could be a friend. This person could want to reconcile something with you. Queen of Cups is here. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they look at you as someone that they can talk to. You're someone that's very understanding. You're someone that's very emotionally mature, emotionally stable. Yeah, you're the type of person that a person can talk to and you won't judge that person. No matter who it is, no matter what that person is going through or went through. You're very understanding because you went through a lot. So you're very mature when it comes to like expressing, you know, your emotions, listening to other people's emotions. Three of Swords is here. Somebody could be heartbroken. Depressed and Knight of Swords, yeah. Somebody could be heartbroken because they did something way too quick or they did something out of anger. Yeah. This is so serious. And then Page of Swords, yeah. This is somebody that's watching you. They're, they're heartbroken. It's like this person ran in and did something too quick. They could have, you know, been being watched and they didn't know. Yeah, something came out. Somebody gained some type of truth or clarity or something like that. And somebody is heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken because the truth came out. Yeah, about some confusion. Seven of Cups is here. Some Whoever this Knight of Swords energy is, they were trying to create some type of confusion. They could have wanted somebody to be guarded um, with this Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands to communicate with you. And now they're pissed off because this person found out the truth. Yeah, this person that's mad and heartbroken, they were trying to confuse somebody. 
But it's like the truth came out. Yeah, judgment is here. It's like they're receiving karma. They're under judgment for whatever they did to cause some type of confusion. And now they're heartbroken. Because something came out. Ooh, at least it's red. Three of Pentacles is here. And Six of Wands is here. It's like whoever they gather to sit back and watch you to confuse, this is someone that wants to work with you. This person see you at the Six of Wands. They see you as someone that is um, having victory. They see you as someone that's very successful. And, it, you know, it could be, this could be like a business or something, especially if you're, you know, starting a new beginning and you're creating a legacy for yourself. But whatever this person, you know, set this person down to see, it didn't work. Like the confusion that they wanted to place over this person about you, it did not work. This person wants to collaborate with you. It's like this person respect you more. Nine of Swords is here. <laughs> oh man, this is so serious. This person, I think to myself, what did this person say? Nine of Swords popped out. So this person wanted to make you look bad. This person gossiped about you, talked about you in a negative way. Spread a lot of rumors and lies and slander. They wanted you to be seen as someone that was, you know, unstable mentally. They could have wanted people to, this person to think that you were crazy. Not the source. <laughs> and now that person could be nervous, you know? That person could be sitting back nervous, heartbroken, pissed off. Because they did something too quick. This was supposed to happen. Whatever this person said about you... <laughs> Whatever this person said about you, whatever confusion they were trying to create, the person that they wanted to sit down and confuse, they were supposed to see that person in that way. You know, someone that was trying to create confusion, illusion, while they were watching you. Because it's like this person is somebody who did possibly did not know you. And um, they wanted to make it seem like you were something that you weren't. Now they're being seen in this nine of swords energy. They can't sleep at night. They're stressed out. They feel like they did something too quick. <laughs> yeah, this person wanted this person to think that you were crazy and it did not work. This is sad. <laughs> oh, so good. Page of Pentacles is here. Wow. <laughs> it's like this person could have started researching you and all type of all type of stuff. These are people that ain't got nothing else better to do. They these are people that possibly don't even have a life. <laughs> they don't got nothing else better to do. You must have you had to be doing something right. If it could have been months more than just two people, it could have been more people than that, you know, sitting back watching you trying to create illusions and confusions or one person was trying to place this illusion over multiple people because they wanted to be seen, you know, as at the six of wands or something like that. And, um, it had a lot of people like studying you, watching you, researching you, but they ended up finding out the truth about the confusion. And that person is stressed out. They can't sleep. Not a cups is here. So it's like somebody was wanting to connect with you, Knight of Cups, and this is why they were researching you. Yeah, they were wanting to connect with you. You could have just got out of some type of situation where you had to, you know, came out on top. You had to went through a lot. It's like you're a wounded warrior. You could have been wounded. Left to deal with a lot by yourself, but you still were able to move forward. Somebody was hating. They didn't like the fact that somebody was, you know, wanting to connect with you romantically with this Knight of Cups. So they created some type of illusion and a confusion. And it's like they moved in too quick. Because this is somebody that did not know you. They seen you as a Queen of Cups energy. But they did not want that person to see you that way. They wanted that person to think that you weren't stable mentally. 
And it just did not work. Eight of Swords is here. This is somebody that wanted you to feel trapped. They wanted you to feel stuck. Then the sun card is here. They got exposed. Whoever this person is, they ended up getting caught. The truth came out. They got exposed. You know, I'm the emperor is here. I'm just kind of feeling like this was someone that was envious and jealous of who you are as a person. <clears throat> All of whatever you went through, you were still able to move forward and you were in this center of pinnacles energy. As I say, you could have started a business and that was successful or you were having victory and success or, you know, just in the energy where you were just starting over. And this is someone that's jealous, envious, not a sore. So they ran in quick and did something. Left their self in depression. This person wanted you to be heartbroken. You could have spoke some type of truth about that person or something came out about that person and they started to create some type of illusion over their self and not you because it couldn't be done. I'm so done. Yeah, everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. It's like whoever this person is, this emperor, this is somebody that that person needed to block off. This could have been a person that was watching you, wanting to connect with you. They needed to block whoever this energy is off. Something was revealed about that person. They got caught. And they could have been attached to this emperor. You could have said something or revealed something, you know, Ace of Swords, about some type of confusion or illusion that that person was trying to place over this emperor to have them stuck. And they were looking at that person like they were crazy. Like, wait a minute. So when you said whatever you said, they want that person to think that you were crazy. That, that this emperor needed to block you off. Everything backfired. I'm so done. Page of Cups is here. And then the Wheel of Fortune is here. Yeah, so somebody wants to apologize to you about something. Something was revealed. Something came out. And they want to apologize. Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Fool card is here. Yeah, this person is coming towards you. Wheel of Fortune, the Fool card, Two of Cups is here. And they want to work with you or partner up with you in some type of way. And this could be someone that you're destined to work with, partner up with. This person could be someone that has emotional feelings for you as well. Like they wanted to connect with you uh, romantically. But it's like as they sat back or they were blocked off, because somebody was creating blockages for this person. Now they're seeing this. Creating confusion for this person. Now they're seeing this. They're realizing that you're someone that um, they were destined to meet. This other person was trying to hold on to them. Four of Pentacles is here. I'm so done. Yeah, they wanted that person to think that you were talking crazy while they were in this Five of Swords energy, envious and jealous of you. Wanting to sabotage the connection, trying to cause some type of deception to you. And seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Yeah, they definitely wanted to, you know, cause some type of deception. They thought they would get away with it. This could be someone that knew that person. You know, this is someone that's in their circle. This is somebody that's close to them, not you. You're not even close to this person that wants to connect with you. So, of course, they were going to be able to keep this person, you know, confused for a while. But they did not know that this person would be under judgment while they were trying to confuse them. Because they were trying to hold on to this person for some type of reason. But in a sneaky, deceptive way. This person could have went through a lot of blockages, whoever this emperor is. They could have felt stuck in life. They could have been in their head. They could have been in a nine of swords. It could have took this person through the dark night of the soul 
Yeah. Yeah, with this Queen of Cups and Nine of Swords, you could have had a lot of dreams. And this is how something came out. A lot of stuff came out about somebody or some people. You could have exposed those dreams. Yeah, the moon card is here. You definitely had dreams. It's like you're someone that's a psychic. You have psychic abilities. You could have been going through a spiritual awakening. If this is someone that you have a destiny with or, you know, a spiritual connection with, with the Page of Cups, this is how, it was like you were communicating with this person through whatever dreams or whatever. This person was communicating with you through dreams. You possibly did not know. This person is in this physical realm. If they're not spiritually woke, they didn't know what was going on. That's why they were able to be confused because they needed to find out the truth. But since you were going through the awakening, this person was not. The truth came through you. Stuff was exposed through you and it came out through dreams. You enlightened this person about some stuff. Probably not all, but just some things. And whoever you enlightened this person um, about, the people, they were the ones trying to create this illusion and a confusion. Because you found out the truth, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords through a dream. You gained some type of clarity. Wow. About multiple people. Yeah, that this person was supposed to be leaving out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. And it could have been a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, it's like it could have been a lot of people that were trying to create this illusion and a confusion. Because you were the one that was getting, you know, spiritually woke. You were going through the spiritual awakening. So you were having dreams about this these people. This person probably wasn't having any dreams. It's like everything was blocked off, but then they ended up getting enlightened. Stuff started being illuminated to this person. Yeah, they could have went in this four swords energy, just isolated themselves, spending a lot of time alone. And this is what this person needed so they would be able to see clearly. Because this person was going through a lot of blockages. Two of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person could have been juggling a lot. And they needed to get rest. They needed to isolate, rehabilitate their self, recharge their energy. Yeah, this person is dealing with a lot of burdens. Ten of Wands is here. Carrying a lot of um, weight on them. Trying to balance things out. It could have been for these people that you were dreaming about. King of Wands is here. And then the Death card is here. And then Tower is here. Wow. So this person, something came out. This could be a major realization. And this person ended up um, putting an end to something. Yeah, this person could have started using their intuition a lot more. And this is how stuff was being able to be illuminated to them. They realized they were going through trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles. And being blocked off and they were feeling stuck in life. Just weighed down. But it could have caused a transformation, a death to something. Six of Cups and King of Swords. Wow. So you have the two of wands and <laughs> wow. It can't this this person realized that somebody they realized that somebody knew four of wands and then the uh two of wands. They could have knew that you and this person were twins. And they used jealousy and envy to try to block this person off from you, like keep them at a stalemate. Yeah. Somebody did this in the past to get this person to distance themselves from you and they're realizing this tower. Because they were in this King of Swords energy with you in the past. 
But it's like this person did not know is because they were in your, your energy field is blocked off. So whatever people were trying to do to make you look bad in front of this person, that person was blocked off from you until they get enlightened on who those people were. So they could have just distanced themselves from you and they didn't know why. But they're finding out that these people did this because you're their twin. Now they want to reunite with you. Queen of Wands is here. And then Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, they're realizing that somebody um, was definitely trying to, somebody that they needed to cut off was definitely trying to get this person to cut you off or block you. Look at you in ways that you're not. To keep you at a keep this person at a stalemate from connecting with you. The chariot is here. And then five of cups. Wow. <laughs> Somebody is in deep regret because you had to move on. You move forward. You spoke truth and clarity and you hadn't got on the chariot. Yeah, you move forward. While they were sitting behind the scenes, you know, exposing their self. Speaking about you in a different way. <laughs> and they don't even keep their self in the eight of swords, not you. Make it make sense. This is sad. <laughs> I am so done. Yeah. <laughs> then you have the devil and ten of swords. Yeah, somebody feel like they got betrayed by somebody that was a karmic. So this person is learning about karmic cycles, karmic people, different things like that. Because they weren't woke. These are people that did this out of jealousy. And it could have been a lot of people. As I was saying, it wasn't just one person. Like one person could have had a whole bunch of other people in this five of wands energy. Secretly jealous. Secretly trying to one-up you. Or one -up this. It's just sad. This is sad. This person feel like they got betrayed. They, they, have, they have not gotten anything out of this cycle but betrayal. But what they need to realize, whoever this emperor is, is that they were supposed to get enlightened. They were supposed to get woke. A lot of stuff was supposed to be revealed to that person so they would be able to move forward. Because this person have a, a will of fortune. Yeah. And these are people that possibly just thought that, you know, they would make up a lot of stuff about you and you would just be sitting in this eight of swords energy feeling stuck in life. Going to the nine of swords. People looking at you, you know, out the side of your neck thinking that you're crazy. No. You're at the six of wands having victory and success. And then the chariot is here. You had to move on. This is how these people ended up getting caught. As one person made a whole bunch of other people look bad. So this person can realize everybody around them they were in a karmic cycle with. That's it. The devil only do what you allow. If you let the devil use you, then that's what, you know, that's what... You're going to be looked and seen as somebody that's toxic. And these could be people that are binded to different addictions, bad habits, obsessions. They hold different secrets that they don't want people to know. They smile in their face, stab them in the back, but they want to stay attached to them to keep them accustomed to that. These are fake, you know, fraudulent type of people. No matter if it's family members, friends or whomever. The devil don't care who they use. If you allow the devil to use you, that's what they're going to do. The star, the star card is here. While all of this conflict was going on, you were healing. As I said, you had not went through a lot. That's how you were able to move forward. You still pushed forward. You still were able to start a new beginning. And you're someone that's very inspirational. A lot of people can look back at whatever it is that you went through, and they can have motivation too. As you had to give yourself the strength and the motivation to push forward. Nobody helped you. The star card is here. You were healing this entire time. You know what you're here to do. You're a healer. You were sent here to help people heal. Help people spiritually get woke. Spiritually teach people. The lovers is here. Yeah, you were sent to help this person get woke and heal. Whoever this person is that you have a spiritual connection with. 
you and this person were supposed to be doing this together or supposed to be, you know, it's like you were chosen. So whatever they went through, they'll be able to help people get woke. They'll be able to motivate people too. These are people that were jealous of this. Five of Wands is here and then Empress is here. I'm so done. It's like they knew who you were to that person, but they were jealous and envious and they tried to create some type of illusion around that person. Worried about stuff they shouldn't be worried about. They could have looked into this person's uh, fortune, found out who you were to that person and got pissed off. As soon as you started revealing whatever you revealed, either they were watching this person or this emperor went back and told different people whatever it is that you told them, whatever you exposed to them. As these are the same people that were trying to create blockages for them. But everything was supposed to happen the way it did. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then High Priestess is here. And this is something serious. And then Ace of Pentacles is here. <clears throat> And then Eight of Cups is here. Somebody could have been literally paid to... Somebody could have went to a practitioner or somebody that, you know, a spell caster or something like that to try to play spell work over you. They paid this person. That person walked away from whatever confusion that these people hadn't placed them in. And it's like whatever they were paying out, whatever work they were paying out to be, you know, placed onto you, Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. It went right back. Equal give and take. Return to sender. Because they wanted to make you look bad. Because whatever you spoke, it was true. They were pissed off watching you. How can they confuse you? How can they make you look like you're someone that's confused? How can they make you look like Seven of Cups? You're someone that's on drugs and talking out, outside of your head or talking out of your head. I'm <laughs> so dead. It did not work. It went right back. Yeah, your energy field is too strong. You vibe too high. I'm so done. These people had the nerve. Yeah, you're someone that's very high vibrational. The hair fine is here. You will least expect. And nine of cups is here. <laughs> oh wow so it's like whatever strength that you, your strength comes from God your faith relies in God this is why you're at this nine of cups energy and not a nine of swords energy you know trying to figure out where is all of this coming from whatever was spoke about you you knew it was not true so you had nothing to worry about. You were in this nine of cups energy. You're someone that loves yourself. You respect yourself and you're happy with yourself. No matter what someone tried to say about you, it did not work. Because whatever you speak on someone, it's like you feel that way about yourself. And whoever that person is, they didn't realize that they would make their self um, be in this eight of swords energy, feeling stuck. They would wrap their self up. It's like somebody could be binded to some type of spell work that they were trying to pay for or get somebody to work on you. They wanted you to be seen as crazy. Like they wanted you to go crazy. And they could be in the energy where they're going crazy. But you, you get your strength from God. Your faith relies in God. That's why you're able to be happy. Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles and then Nine of Pentacles is here. Somebody was just trying to slow this person down from connecting with you because you're someone that is stable. They were trying to distract you, make it, you know, they could have seen you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Let me distract this person. They could have seen that you were someone that was a successful business owner. You're someone that is um, independent. You know, you can stand on your own two feet. Let me try to slow this person independence down. And it did not work. They were trying to distract you from, you know, moving forward. Building stability for yourself or being, you know, stable. 
They were trying to distract your business. Slow a whole bunch of stuff down it. I'm just <laughs> Oh man, I'm so done. Yeah. They were trying to slow this person down from coming towards you. Pink of Pentacles is here. It's like they didn't want this person to see you in the Nine of Cups energy, Nine of Pentacles energy. They want this person to look at you at the Nine of Wands and they would be nervous not to come towards you. And then Nine of Swords. It's... <laughs> yeah, but you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. And this is why this person wants to come towards you in this King of Pentacles energy. So as this person seen, it's like you were in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You were starting this new beginning, starting your business. You were just minding your business. That's how you were able to move forward. You started working very hard on whatever it is that you want out of life. The more and more they were trying to create blockages or have you stuck, the harder you work. The more strength you got. And this person wants to come towards you. It's like they're in that same energy. Yeah, the world is here. This person needed to complete a cycle out. Like something needed to end. That's why they were distracted. And you could have knew that. That's why you were minding your business. You could have knew about this as you were going through your awakening, who this person was to you. Stuff was being revealed to you. But this person is like they, they didn't, they were confused. They weren't woke. They weren't going through an awakening. They were still around a lot of people. It's like you were by yourself. So you could have went in isolation. You could have went in solitude. That person needed to do that. So they would be able to see things clearly. And this is why that Ten of Wands is, the Ten of Wands is here. This person could have been going through a lot, like way down. Because it's like when you're around a lot of people, it's like you're just in that energy. You're just weighing yourself down with a lot of burdens. Yeah, Tempers is here and then the Hermit is here. You were definitely in this energy where you were by yourself, guarding your energy, protecting your energy in Hermit mode. Keeping yourself grounded, balancing yourself out, being patient with yourself. You weren't focusing on anyone but yourself and your healing. That's it. But whoever this person is that wanted to come towards you, a lot of people that were enemies, a lot of people that were, you know, toxic, people that they're in a karmic cycle with, that was revealed to that person. And it was supposed to happen that way. You don't have to do anything. Four of Cups is here. And Knight of Wands is here. Somebody feel rejected because, well, <laughs> I'm so dumb. This could have been your this could have been your twin. They could have felt rejected by you because they were in this Knight of Wands energy. They could have been accustomed to, you know, just having one night stands with people, having sex with people, doing stuff without thinking. And they felt rejected when you weren't in this energy. Or they felt, you know, they were unhappy because they realized they were in this energy. So they could have literally wanted you to chase them down for sex, like lust after them. And it just did not work. Yeah, they were being forced to look at their self. That's why they were unhappy. Four Cups is here. Hangman is here. Somebody definitely needed, this person definitely needed to get enlightened and start loving their self. Ace of Cups is here. Because this person could have been too loose with their sexuality. They were accustomed to being attached to different people that were in a night of wands energy. Like they can have sex with those people quick. These are people that would just chase them down or something like that or connect with them and they have sex. But this person needed to love their self. They needed to heal and show their self some self-respect, some self-love and get more enlightened. Yeah. They felt rejected by you because they were in this Knight of Wands energy. You're not a Knight of Wands type of person. You're not a, a person that have... Yeah, you had to sell the wizard. <laughs> you had to sell Queen <laughs> away Six of Swords and did not look back. <laughs> yeah. And this person was not happy. I mean, they, they felt insecure because they were accustomed to that in this cycle. Like just having one night stands or having sex with anybody. 
and that's not good. And they can trying to sit back and figure out, you know, why weren't you in that energy? I'm so done. That's because you know what you want out of life. Three of Wands is here. You've never been somebody's one night stand. But this is what that person was accustomed to. And you could have seen it, seen this person for who they were. And you did, you just went, moved on and started focusing on yourself as you were supposed to. Because this person needed to get more enlightened. They need to focus on their self and love their self. Yeah, this person was blinded from the truth. Two of swords is here. They weren't able to see properly. They were not woke. The magician is here. And then seven of wands is here. I mean, seven of um, pinnacles is here. It's like this person was in this energy where they, this is some serious. Like this person could have been in the energy where they would always be tricked. Like they, they would be tricked by a person. In order to have sex with a person, they would have to give them something. Like pay for sex. So this person could have been, um, you know, accustomed to sleeping with prostitutes. Or people that were gigolos. You had to pay that person or give that person something to have sex with them. This is sad. And this is what they were accustomed to for a long time, like being tricked. Yeah, this is this is just not okay. This person needed to heal. They needed to cleanse their self and get out of this Knight of Wands energy because it was keeping that person stuck in the hangman energy. Because this is something that that person needed to release. King of Cups and Justice is here. Yeah, this person is someone that needed to start using their intuition and they needed to love their self. Because the self, it, th this person needed self-love, self-care in order to bring in balance for their self, balance out their emotions. Because they could have been very emotionally immature, you know, unhappy, not knowing how to express their self, feeling insecure, feeling rejected. And they were constantly, you know, manifesting and attracting People that were in the same energy as them. Wow. Yeah, they definitely was in regret when they realized the truth. This is someone that needed to balance their emotions out. It's like this person could have felt like they needed to buy somebody's love, you know, buy people love. In order to have people, you know, show love to them or respect them or something like that. These are the same people that were creating blockages for this person. Denial was here. This person could have been in denial for a long time. Yeah, this person was in denial, but it's like they acknowledge whatever they were fearing and <clears throat> they replace it with insight and awareness. So they were in denial, but now they're acknowledging that they were, you know, scared of something or in fear of something. And they're they're replacing it with insight and awareness. These are people that wanted this person to fear moving forward because they wanted to hold on to that person. So it's like they needed to, you know, stay in this, you know, stay blocked off from you or not come towards you until they got more enlightened and found out the truth. Humor is here. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And then growth. Yeah. Yeah. So this person didn't realize that they needed to focus on their happiness. 
with this humor being here and then growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah. They need to work on self-love. Work on making their self happy. And they're realizing in order to grow, they need to expand their consciousness and their awareness. Because as I said, this person was not woke. They were in the energy where they weren't using their intuition. They were just doing stuff without thinking. Adversity is here. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So they're realizing whatever they went through, these were lessons so this person could learn. This person went through many obstacles, many battles, many challenges because they needed to learn. This person realized they were learning lessons. <laughs> Surrender is here. I can release my need to control. So this person was trying to control something. They, this person, when this came out, this person could have been in the energy where they were, you know, wanting you to chase them down, wanting you, wanting to get your attention. And they could have gotten mad because they could not get your attention. And whatever it is they were trying to do to get your attention, you, you had to sell the way or you were being divinely guided to sell away and not look back. Now they're in this energy where they realize they cannot control something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so done. As I was getting ready to say, this is the divine path. Everything happens in divine order. Patience is here. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So this person realized that they were they went through whatever they went through because they needed to balance their self out. Because they were trying to control something that they can't control. They're on a divine path. Everything happens in divine order. Yeah, and it was keeping them stuck for a long time. Them being in the Knight of Wands energy, trying to figure out why weren't you chasing them now. I'm so done. You be to out of random around here. Worry is here. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And in relationships. I am attracted to those people that serve my higher good. Yeah. So this person could have been attracted to a lot of people. Somebody is worried. Because this person was attracted to you. You serve this person's higher good. But that person was trying to figure out why weren't you chasing them down? Why weren't you attracted to them? This person was in an energy where they were vibing low in the toxic... Uh, karmic cycle and somebody is worried whoever this person is that was worried this could have been a relationship that they were in and somebody was trying to hold on to this person they got they're learning that them being worried and trying to hold on to this person did not change the outcome this person is attracted to people that serve their higher good that person was serving their low vibrational side of them and that was it keeping them in a toxic you know cycle and they knew about the spiritual connection. The lovers is here. They knew that you have a high vibrational connection with that person. A spiritual connection. Wow. And they literally, you know, they're realizing whatever they did. They could have went in, you know, to different people to pay them to do stuff to you. They went to a practitioner to try to pay to have spell work done on you. None of it worked. Everything could have backfired onto this, to your twin and those same people. And they were pissed off watching you. Yeah, and peace. I'm so done. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. It's like you're someone that walks in positivity. You're someone that is very peaceful and you walk in love and energy. You don't have any negativity around you. You don't associate with people that are negative. That's why none of it could hit you. It's like you were by yourself in hermit mode, protecting your energy. You had to completed a cycle and walked into a whole nother cycle and started over. That's why none of this hit you. That's all I keep getting. Yeah, self-esteem is here. It's like you have, you have high self-esteem and this is someone or these are people that have low self-esteem. Because they are low vibrational. You possess gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. You realize this as you were, you know, healing yourself, cleansing yourself, 
services here. I feel good when I can help others. It's like you realize what you're here to do when you were in hermit mode, when you were cleansing yourself, healing yourself. And this is what you were focused on. Yeah, freedom is here. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You had to set yourself free. Yeah, and it's like whoever your twin is, they're realizing this. And they were in regret when you had to move forward. Yeah, you're someone that loves yourself and you, you're someone that loves yourself. Pride is here. You have a lot of confidence. And this is why you weren't in the energy where you were chasing this person down for sex. I'm so done. For one more. Courage is here. Yeah. It's like you're someone that have a lot of courage. You find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So like you gained your strength. Whatever you were doing, it was only making you stronger. Whatever you have went through, it it only have built you up to make you grow, make you stronger. That's it. And this person is realizing the same thing. It's like they needed to have um, courage. This person needed to love their self. They could be someone that, you know, they're accustomed to being tricked and used because they like to help people. You could have went through the same thing. But you set yourself free from that. You created your own happiness. A lot of people could be in regret because you've moved forward and you don't associate with them that, that much anymore. It's like you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Speak the truth to people and, you know, cut off things that no longer serve a purpose. Yeah, you went through this transformation and a lot of people, they, um, they're in regret for whatever that took place in the past. Whoever this person is, it's like they're realizing that they need to heal a lot before even trying to connect with you because they sat back for a long time keeping their self stuck. Trying to control a situation that they did not have control over. They needed to gain self-control. They needed to build their self-esteem up. And they definitely need to start loving their self. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this person needed to start loving themselves and be happy with their self because um, whatever they were trying to control, they couldn't control. And it was only keeping this person stuck, like keeping them in an energy where they were able to be finessed. Yeah. And they could have took a lot of losses as well. You know, this person could have took a lot of losses, but um, while they were in this four cups energy, this person realized that they needed to um, balance their emotions out and get more grounded. It's like as whoever these people are was trying to hold on to this person, they were sitting back watching, trying to hold on to you. But it's like they were keeping it hidden. The way this person is on this four of pentacles, they were keeping it hidden. They didn't want anyone to know that because it was a lot of negative talk, a lot of negative gossip. And they could have wanted this person to be ashamed of however they felt about you. So they were keeping it hidden. Now they're in regret because you haven't got on the cherry and moved forward. And you're happy by yourself. Nine of Cups is here. You're only going to manifest someone that's going to make you happy. That's it. 